Hi guys, it's Adam from AC Auto Tech. Today we're just going to take a look at the Snap On Venice and um, the pressure transducers from Snap On. Just trying to explain how to use them with the Snap On scope and uh, also the Shopstream software. So we're using the Venice Edge Snap On off it. Two transducers, hopefully you can see that. 500 psi. There's the part number. Let's get a better view just in case anyone's interested. And then they do a hundred psi one, which also does pressure and vacuum. Unfortunately, as you can see, this one's had a bit of use, so the part number's worn off. I'll try and get that and stick that in the comments for you. We've also got the adapter and then the leads. So all we do is we go in here, we need to hook our scope up, so we've got the, hook, the scope hooked up, basically all it does, plugs into the auxiliary port on the top of the scope, then into our number one channel, and we come down as we can see it, we've got number one and two on the top, so just plug it in. And it comes down, just plug straight in on the end here, and then as you can see, we've got a thread, and all we use is the normal adapters from the uh, normal test kits. And just screw it on now, bear with me. So we're all set up, ready to go. Now, setting up the scope. And we're into the scope now. Go in here. Go into our lab scope, our four channels, and then come down. Go to here. This up. And then what we get is obviously our probe settings. And so there, 500 psi. Okay. What it should do is ask you if you want to calibrate it. If it doesn't, and click this one here, you'll get this screen. Yes. And go. So that's us all set up now. I'm ready to go and have a look at some cars. Here we are, we're all set up on the car, as you can see. Now I'm into number one glow plug. Here's our adapter plugged in. Straight on. There we go. Get that settling enough that we just wiggle away. Well, We'll go, let's crank the car and see what happens. So guys, the side that it was easier to come inside, there was uh, less noise going on. Let's take a look again. We've got this here. So, we take our cases. What we do... As you can see, we've now got the cases set up. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 720 degrees crankshaft rotation between them. This gives us our time it takes between 0.1 and 0.2. So, we can then work out 720 degrees. At uh, that time, divided by five, uh, 720 degrees gives us our time. We can then work out. 180, 360, a little bit of maths involved when you do it like this way. Or what I'm going to show you now is what it's easier to do with an overlay and the shop stream tool. So guys, basically all I normally do is just save them onto a little USB pen. Get the laptop out. Obviously, we go on to a shop stream. Just open the files up that we've saved, as you can see here, all the ones that we've saved. Let's go here, we've already opened it up. Then we've got the our normal waveform. And then we've got tool downloaded from somewhere else. I'll try and stick a link in the comments. Uh, and 
and we can put this on what we can do is we can add it to the screen and then bear with me try and do it one handed we line our markers up just like that like that you can see similar to what people are using with other scopes so it does take a bit of work but it does mean that you can get by using the snap on scope and what we can do with more detail is if you take more waveforms you can add in other stuff see what's going on here go we can hide that one and do this one drag this one in And obviously it's not set up correctly at the moment but again you can see the type of stuff you can use just for more detail and uh, help you diagnose the faults so i'll hopefully be doing some videos on that actually explaining what's going on and di diagnosing cars actually live but i hope that's uh, been some help for everyone to uh, see that the snap on scope does help with the uh, pressure transducer you can, you can get some information without having to go out and buy another scope. Thanks for watching.